Hey guys, planning on showing you guys a couple of my war attacks here. Um, we hopefully can get, hopefully we can get up in the war here. We are up right now. They've only used for their attacks. Here's Ethan doing an attack here on a Tunnel 8. He just went to Tunnel 9. He's planning on engineering his base. Well placed lightning there. He took out two air defenses. And now he all he has left is sweeper and one air defense. Coming at this base with drags, try, creating a little bit of funnel. I would have had more of a funnel out to this barrack here, but it looks like that drag will come over, take out the cannon, and then go to the barracks. So that would work. He took that builder all out. Uh, the Dark Spell Laboratory will be a problem. Unless he puts the king over there. King's already down over here. Queen goes down. But he's got enough troops in the core that will take out that air defense. And the Tesla. And the Wizard Tower before even too much worries. That dragon is doing a lot of damage to the loons. Only one loon remaining. That loon's getting taken out. Looks pop popped BK special ability. Got a pretty good funnel over here. These two drags are gonna take out the wizard tower. And maybe take out the archer tower. That loon is still running around taking out sees taking out it. That's gonna be a problem because eventually this dragon will get sidetracked on the loon, which isn't gonna be too good because of the fact that you won't have your dragon ready fully. Kings not doing too good. Uh, they did not take down the archer tower over on this side. And my internet is lagging. Bomb goes off. Dragons are still going through the core. It not looking like a three star. It's gonna be cut close here. It probably will be as long as that dragon can clutch up. But it looks like it will be a three star because there's no way that one archer tower is going to stop all these dragons. Unless time runs out, which could happen right now. But it looks like it will be a three star, no problem. Because that dragon split off here. So as soon as that's down, they'll all go here. And then they'll all go to the Dark Elixir drill. And then they'll come here with no problem. And that will be a three star attack. Pretty close with 15 seconds left. Not a bad attack. There's a three star attack in war now. Now we have all the way up to number three. Three starred. We got to get these top three. We got the plan out for that. They haven't really attacked much. They've attacked Ethan, who we just watched. They attacked my mini. They attacked Camden, and they attacked mini top. But they haven't had really much of a big attack here. They've got us three at the them three at the bottom three starred, and then they two starred Ethan, which is actually a very good replay if you watch it. He's got a good base, but he came out with another Town Hall 9 attacking him and defended against it, which worked pretty good. It looks like he came in with kind of a go-wipe strategy. This is a very good strategy, but your wall breakers barely broke in there. Looks like the dragon's coming in. Kind of looks like all of his wizards died too quickly. So he's relying on his queen to take out the drag and the loon. It sends in more wizards, which will take out the dragon. But the loon has already done a tremendous amount of damage to the golems. So the golems are not doing too well. The giant bomb here takes out a Valkyrie. That giant bomb wrecks a ton of his troops. So the giant bomb and bomb placements on this base were very well predicted and were very well placed. 
Got a couple Valkyries and Golems up here. They're all dying, though. They used the jump spell before it ends. Queen's one shot away from dying. And there goes down the Queen before she can even take out one more building. Looks like King's down here with his ability. Still a Golem up here, but he's going to go after the Cannon. And then he'll break up into two here. And it won't be a three-star because your king's going to split this way. And as it's going this way, because it's not going to come back this way. It's very unlikely. And even if he would have a minute of extra time, it still wouldn't be a three because of that them two buildings right there. He got all the corner buildings. There's little. If he would have had a couple more archers, could have got a higher percent. But not too much higher because the Tesla protects out there, so in that protects out to there, so you'd have to place one pretty dang close to the corner. And over here, your mortar protects all the way out there, but you could use an archer to snipe that off. But the golems are sidetracking the archer tower, and it looks like the mortar is taking out the barbarians. There goes the, all the barbarians. All that's left is the Barb King and the Barb King and the Archer Tower. The Archer Tower is one hit away, and if it wasn't for the Archer Tower, this raid would probably be pretty close instead of, of 84. We would have got way higher on that. But that didn't happen, so we got that. Now I'll go all the way down here to Mini Top. He's got a He's a pretty good tunnel seven, tunnel eight. I have almost the exact same base as him. It, this is a very good rounded base. It defends against dragons well, but he did not create a funnel at all at the top. He just spammed all of his dragons in and dropped that rage well placed. So that way his dragons would get through the 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 max dragon no problem. They get through that, and they're just going to go keep going. Places the Barb King, his loons, the loon in the CC doesn't even get over to him. It's only the cannon taking him out. That rage, I do not, should have been placed way farther in front of the troops. It wasn't very well placed, but it still got the uh, dragons in far enough. If he would have had a little higher level Barb King, probably would have taken out, would have had a better, uh, better turnout. Well placed loons there with a rage. That's how a rage should be over in air defense, just barely. That way they're still raged as they go up and take it out. Only one loon made it though, and they couldn't even take out the Teslas in the center. Still got a dragon in a uh, in the BK going around down here as these two dragons are going through and taking out the Teslas up here. All that's left to defend is the Archer Tower. Which is going to be over overwhelmed, and of course she targets the dragon that's highest um, HP. So it gets taken out fairly quickly. She doesn't even take out an art, doesn't even take out a dragon, but gets pretty close. That dragon comes in to join them as the Barb King walks all the way around to go either to the army camp or the cannon, but. It looks like he will lock onto the cannon, which will will lock onto the army camp, which is big for him, and will give them three. Pretty close here. No, I was maxed on my gold, so I haven't been able to collect a lot of it. Treasury is almost full. Now, here is a replay that is just outstanding amount of gold here. Uh, one of my friends, Ethan, he found, in the clan, he found this base. And it's just tremendous amount of loot. 8k. 800,000. Just sitting there. And 500,000 dark. That's pretty hard to find, and it looks like it's a well-done base, but looks pretty dead because you, there's no builders building anything. It doesn't have um, no builders. It's still got gravestones around. 
No, he's obviously somewhat active because I don't see a loot card on the base, which sometimes you can see. He's using Lunion. He does funneling with his queen down here. Pops ability last second. She should be able to take out the cannon and take out the storage, but it looks like she'll get taken out right before. He'll drop two minions and two loons. Two loons and then two minions behind to take out the archer tower. So that way he can take out the D storage and a couple of defenses up there. Minions taking loot up here. He's got one minion left and all of his loons are not deployed. Saving onto that minion, which was well done by him. Drops his uh, barb king down. And it looks like he's going. Looks like the barb kick will swing down right where he probably doesn't probably doesn't want him and would have got more loot going the other way. But still has a tremendous amount of loot already. He's got a minion up top which will take out that dark elixir drill up there. And the rest of the loot is all in the D storage. Pops the ability of the king. I uh, probably should have dropped a poison on the queen as soon as he gets through the wall, which it looks like he doesn't even drop anything because he knows the king was going to die. So there's no point in it. Minion up top grabbing a lot of loot. Already got 300, 400,000 gold, 600,000 elixir, which will stay at that. And 2,700 Dark Elixir, which is pretty tremendous. And he'll just get that last building after he's already got the one star on the base. And if he would have had his Arch Queen, if he would have had an arch, his Archer Queen, probably could have dropped it on that storage to grab even more. Probably would have got him down very far. Uh, and then that last minion will go down, but he'll end it before the minion can get shot down. A lot of loot, if you ask me. I have been seeing a couple like that. Uh, I've been using dragons just because I don't need elixir anymore. I'm pretty much maxed on elixir. Uh, I've been finding a lot of raids that I can use dragons on. Like this, where all the elixir is stacked on the bottom, and all the dark elixir is stacked in the middle, with fairly easy to get with the bolt book quick. So I dropped it over. I dropped it right there. I wasn't really going for the three star, but I still wanted to go for the three. I didn't want it at first. I thought just drop it there and then just spam all my troops down here. But I decided I'll do some funnel and see if I could funnel out. A couple of my troops. I thought about having a pretty dang big funnel right through here. That way I could get all that. Now right here is a geared up cannon. So I knew I didn't want to place my barb king down there. But I probably could have because it wasn't on the double mode. Uh, my next thought with it was why not take out why not put it up here and then I found a ton of giants and I don't have a poison I brought a uh, haste with it instead and my dragon my two dragons up top and my barb king take it out I popped his ability early just so I could see if I could take it out quick and easy but that cannon's gonna be locked onto it the whole time this is maxed uh, point damage besides the Tesla's Splash damage is well upgraded. Walls are pretty close. It was probably a new one that didn't upgrade his walls to get them all caught up yet. I got three dragons all up here. Two dragons at the bottom. All seen. And I was just like, please grab all the loot possible. Mega Mine takes out that. So that way my dragon gets sidetracked. Because he would have taken out that air sweeper, but instead he got sidetracked onto it because of it. That uh, dragon is at full health. That dragon's at half health. Two bombs hit it. Takes it down to 
a little bit in between a quarter health and half health, so a third. And this dragon is still half health, half health with um two two buildings left to go. All that's left is a cannon. As my barber king's just standing there watching. Oh, I didn't even, I forgot about that. But I took out all the corner buildings besides this one, which they will go and grab in enough time. No problem. So they'll grab that for a three star with quite a bit of loot. 3k each, so 600,000 of loot just in golden elixir. And 1,000, almost 2,000 in that. Plus my loot bonus. I uh, late all I have I have an uh, archer tower going my first one to max all my cannons are maxed besides this one this one is the one that this over here I decided uh, to gear it up and then I'll upgrade it after that to maxed just because I want to have a geared up cannon low level I was gonna gear up this one but I decided not to so I just geared up this one I have a couple of new bases to test out. I got a farming base here that's pretty good for de farming. And I have my new war base. They haven't even attacked it yet. I probably will do a video on it. I just came out with this base. I th was wondering if it was good enough or not. I'm testing it out this war. I'm pretty sure it will work out pretty well. Now this video, I was kind of hoping to break 1,400 on this account. I got my baby dragons going up in here because I'm I found out a good strategy with them that still works. So I'm gonna upgrade them, but I might just upgrade both beta minion and these. But I might max out my beta minion first. So it it depends on how well it works. This strategy also works. I found out that. A camp of giants, two of barbarians, and wall breaker works out pretty well. Here's our first attack. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that name, but this base is low everything, low defense. It's kind of begging for ground, but the cannons are highly upgraded, and so is that one archer tower. So I'm thinking about doing a little bit of a two star attack strategy here with two camps of baby dragons and two camps of baby dragons this is a dominant strategy to pick off I could pick off a lot of these buildings out here I'm gonna save these four I'm gonna let these guys all do their work now one thing I'm gonna have to worry about is that bomb defense but it's tucked away in the corner far enough where I can still clear it out with no problem so I'm gonna drop in all of them I'm gonna drop in my two better minions behind I probably should have saved a couple more but I didn't so I'll I'll send the rest of them in that baby dragon splits off and comes down here takes out the Tesla which is fairly well now this track strategy is kind of just uh, rolling it's just rolling a dice basically but it looks like it's gonna defend this attack strategy which looks like more than likely I'm going to fail on this because I don't have, yeah, that's the end of it there. That's a 42%. Now, probably not, yeah, there we go, there's a loss here. Now, let's, I'm going to use my clock tower boost up here. Now, one thing I was wondering is, does it boost up this builder? It doesn't look like it will boost up that builder because it requires that guy to build it to do it my goal I my highest right now is 1382 which I was just at I want to break 1400 with this but it can, I can see it happening but I also can't see it happening now this stri this attack strategy probably isn't the greatest for this one so I will bring out my wall breakers but it looks like I don't need the wall breakers because there's already an open opening and I could snipe off a little bit of percentage with archers so I will drop all this out here now I do not know if 
the guard post troops will come out and take out my oh it looks like it's in range of cannon anyway so I will take out all of them clean up now I do not know if I can snipe off this if I could it will be very helpful because then I could send him one barbarian into this hole to see if there's any traps leading right there but I already cleared out all that side of the base looks like there's a um, collect, there's a storage up, st up top, it looks like I can take that out, so I will take out that, maybe I could lure a trap there, so obviously there's going to be a spring trap or something in there, unless he's stupid enough and doesn't have anything, looks like he doesn't have anything, so I will drop both of them in, and it's kind of just put down very slowly and casually, he is now spectating my attack, so now I will drop the rest of them, now, one thing you got to watch out for is the Crusher. The Crusher will end this raid easily. It's not a three-star attack strategy when you're looking. You can either attack from the Crusher side or not. There's a victory, so I'm back up. I'm nine trophies away from... Nine trophies away. Will we make it this time? Hopefully, I can get it back up there. Now... I'm thinking about going ground here and with the bombers, but it kind of looks like a pretty dang good base to just do a pick off, pick off with the archers and go for the 50, but I think I'm going to save, I'll just go like this, because I could still pick off a lot of percentage on this base. I'm not for sure if I could pick off this building. I probably can't, but I need to do some funneling over here, so I will drop that there. Now, I have never used this specific attack strategy. I've always done either one or the other. Now, I'll drop both of them in separate. I'll drop that in, but I'm going to have to drop this over here. The bombers are going to take out all that. Now, it should be a fairly easy one-star Unless I hit some mega mine or all my barbarians to skip the town, the builder hall, which they just did. And it looks like I won't even get the builder hall, but I do have the 50% here. I got bombers going around. Well, my bombers might be able to clutch up here. And my bombers will be able to take it out, which is pretty clutch. Normally bombers don't, my bombers don't do that. Normally they just follow the walls. Looks like they'll be able to do that, but they won't get very much percent unless they clutch up and take out the... Yeah, I won't take out the army camp. Maybe we'll take out the... No, uh, he'll be shot down there, so 62% two-star. I could have sn sniped off the clock tower, but I didn't. And it looks like we got the victory, so now we are over, and we are at 1,422, which is pretty good. But... I still got my boost going so I'll, for 40 seconds, so I'm going to leave that there. But I will collect all my resources here. I got my arch tower going. I'll, I'll probably do another video on this tomorrow. I'll have a video for Clash Rail maybe coming out. I got a new deck for that that's been working out pretty good with the Royal Giant deck. I'll do a Minecraft video maybe today, but I probably won't do one. Yeah, it's kind of up to what I'm doing. Let me know if you want me to do a comment question of the day. And if you guys wanted to copy down this base, this base has been working out pretty well. Uh, it's been holding up well. But look at this, 62%, 58%, 42%. Not very many people have three-started. I, I did get three-start here, but... Oh, wait, that was my attack strategy. I was looking at the wrong things. But 64, 64, 60, 37, 69, 64. So as long as you get a two-star, it's pretty dominant. This guy even had a better... Has cannon cards and couldn't even take my base out. I mean, that isn't a good attack strategy, but still... 
I mean, you don't spam all your archers on that side and then hope for the best and then drop in cannon carts, hoping that they'll take it out. When really, cannon carts are pretty dang slow, so you want tanking giants in front or something tanky. And he did to use the archers basically to tank and to get percent. He was just going for a cheap two-star. This base works out well. It's never been three-star. I got one more attack here, but I will... I'm going to do that one off camera here, but I broke 1,400, so be expecting another video maybe today, be, but be expecting one tomorrow. See you.